<laughs> okay, sorry for about sorry about that. Um, I selected the wrong one, <laughs> so nothing appeared just now. But anyway, um, back for this for today. Yeah, uh, last week was like a I guess uh rest week for me, because uh you know um the every you know normally when I do stream like this we uh when we do our limited palette challenge we do have it in about three weeks um so i normally would do like a you know so it really depends so if the month there if there are like four four weeks to the month for example uh one of the i i would i guess i would probably give myself like a break so one of the weeks would be would be a rest week so the next one that's coming up is in july um yeah so it's gonna be a kind of a routine thing that i do like so if the month has got five weeks then i would actually take one week off and uh like october and then december i think yeah so phew i have more rest this year so i remember last year i probably only take like one one day off or something so yeah so now i am taking more days off so anyway good evening to everybody Okay, good evening to everyone. Uh, yeah, so today I am going to do, um, just to just to kind of uh, use, look at, go and check out. Remember the last time I did this, um, on uh, uh, when I first opened up my my Himi gouache. So I did a, a, a garden, Monet's garden in in France. So this was in this is a, a picture I took off, off from, uh, uh, I think it's. I think it was on splash, uh, and I was just using the colors straight from the tops without actually, you know, doing anything to them. So today I'm going to, you know, ever since I use them, um, when was that? I think it was in March. Yeah, probably. Um, so so it has been a month or so. So that was like the last time I used it. Um, so today, I'm going to use open it up to see if anything has happened to it if I could still use it for painting so it's gonna be pretty fun firstly I think the first thing that is pretty fun is to kind of check what's in there hey hi DRJS Pro so yeah the two of us just gone out for a good meal um, which, is, which will explain why we are a little bit late today <laughs> hello hello yeah right Hello. Ooh. Okay, my suddenly there's a weird sound. Okay, got got it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's open this up to see if it's uh still working, if I still anything in there. Hmm. I hope yeah, we had Japanese barbecue dinner, so that was a uh, quite a good dinner. Um, okay, so let's just open this up. <laughs> the last time that I opened this up uh, was a month ago. So let's see if anything has dried up. So far, so good. Okay, so we we I think there's some. Okay, maybe I'll just show you guys. So this one here has like sort of separated. I didn't open this one because it's actually a white, so I, I already have one here, so I'm going to open it. This is kind of dry, I don't know why. But the good thing about this set is that you could just spray uh, water and you can just, you know, um, uh, you can mix it and it, it will still it will be okay to use. So I am not so concerned uh, with this. So maybe I should just bring out, I will take a spatula, I'm not going to use uh, anything else, I'll just use spatula for it. Where's my spray bottle? I think I need a spray bottle. Hold on. Just that I probably need quite a lot of um, towel for this maneuver. <laughs> okay, so this is this is okay. This is this is the, the texture like 
I, I guess you can still paint with it, you know. I, I, and it doesn't smell bad. So, yeah. So I think it's okay. It's good to use. So I'm quite happy that it's actually okay. Yeah, but just that I have to waste this 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 amount of paint. This one is looks bad, but I think if I like kind of just, yeah, I think it's still okay. Like if I just uh stir it, it and uh, mix what whatever is there, I could still use paint it paint with it. So good. So um yeah, I kind of verified that you can actually use it. Hey, hi Nancy. Good morning. Yeah, so I think I have uh, kind of verified like you can actually uh, still use this after one month after opening it and not, I didn't even, I didn't really touch it after the last time I used it. So, so glad that I could still use it, <laughs> like it's still usable. So I'm just going to use it straight from the top. Good evening. Hello. I'm just going to go there and say hi. Good Evening. I think it's good morning over there. Good morning, Nancy's. So what do you do last week when when I had a break? Do you have a good break? Like do you sleep more? Uh or you go did you go out? <laughs> ah, there you go. Okay, so let me just um prepare the paper. So normally um we are not doing our art challenge. Um, so for for our stream, we would normally do the limited art palette challenge, right? The limited color challenge. Um, but um, it would be done probably. Or, or we dedicate about uh four three weeks to it, to that. So um, we had our last one last week. So I don't know the week before the last week. So we have to come up with our, we have to decide our new palette. <laughs> and I did have like a few colors in my mind, but um, I think it's kind of good to kind of just go, uh, go through all, everyone. So I do have a few um, that I think I did share the last time, but we haven't really decided on which one. I'm kind of inclined to just try this one. Oh, you did some pictures for your wall. Wow, that's, that's really nice. Did you use gouache or watercolor? We're you using uh, the limited color palette, limited palette, limited color palette challenge, uh, limited, <laughs> limited color palettes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of inclined to use this color, these colors. Um, so we have cobalt blue light. So cobalt blue is like PB28, right? Um, it's not, okay, so I can't really move this because mine is not autofocus. So if I were to move it like really close, you'll see that it's kind of, you can't really see this, but... Watercolor pencils. Actually, I have watercolor pencils. Maybe that I could I could try using watercolor pencils next next time. Um, yeah, I, I think I've shown you guys right my intense. I haven't really used it yet. So it's like I I I buy keep buying these things, but I just have no time to do it. So perhaps the next round, uh, where we do this again, um, I will be using the color pencils. Yeah, but color pencils, I don't know if I would be able to finish everything within the timing, and um that. The th another color, the three, the three color that we are gonna use for the next challenge would be um, the cobalt blue light, the uh, quinacridone via magenta, and the green gold. So I think it's really nice. Like this is this is the dark. This is when you mix all three together, you get something like that. Yeah, intense. Yeah, I have that. And then you have the uh, the, the 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 range of colors that you can can use, and I really quite like the effect. You know, the cobalt blue light with the green gold. Um, this is really really nice. The separation looks really nice. So, yeah, we we will call this probably a spring palette or something like that because these are very spring colors. Um, I know it's like mid spring. <laughs> spring has passed, uh, for one month. So this is like mid spring. Um. So yeah. Um, but I'll still call it the spring palette. <laughs> okay, so this would be our new palette. I uh, would we'll probably share it again next week, right? Green gold, yes. Green gold is um, PY129. Let me show you. Yeah, let me show you uh, green gold. Um, green gold. Green gold. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. PY one two nine. PY one two nine. Hmm. So this is the color. P 
pigment yellow py green gold so it's probably something like that so there's actually a few types so daniel smith has the green gold deep and you also have the normal green gold right rich green gold quite dirty blue like why is this dirty blue <laughs> okay i don't know but i think the color is like an olive Oh, so if you are getting Daniel Smith, it is olive, it is uh, called Rich Green Gold or Green Gold, but if, I think it's probably, it's called Azo Green. Oh, we can't really see this. Um, It's, oh, it's Azo Green. <laughs> it's also called Azo Green. So if you buy from M Grams, it will be called Azo Green. It's also a very beautiful uh, color. It's, yeah, very interesting. So this is the color Green Gold. So you just need to uh, either get from M Gram. So I don't know why, like the my photograph and my camera here, the color looks really different from my handphone color. It's a little bit more green than it is like gold. It's like a bit like cranacridone, but more greenish. Which brand? Um, do you have green gold for Mei Liang? Mei Liang, Mei Liang. I remember you did share right that time. Miliang watercolor paint set. Hmm, I'm not sure if they actually has have it. Thirty six colors, you say? Uh, um, maybe I'll get back to you. Like where you could actually get it from. Kim, yeah, Kim Bell, Kimberly. I'm not sure if they actually have green gold. So this is this is Miliang that you have, right? Hmm, I think it's close to olive. Kind of close to olive green. Yeah, so it's dessert. So um, we had we start with K, right? It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. So it's L. And, and we have green gold. So it will be, I think, like lime pie, lemon pie, lemon lemon something. So green gold is probably good for it. Um, I guess then, you, you know, the closest for you would probably be olive green. Or maybe permanent light? No don't think permanent light is good in is good probably probably or yeah olive green oh your okay you know, no worries no worries um what i'll do is i will just kind of go through i could send you some emails um i mean could put it put it in an email or maybe is is it maybe yellow go uh, yellow green but yellow green seem a little bit too too yellowish like too too bright you know <laughs> anyway something like that so you i think you also have something like a cobalt blue you have cobalt blue so that's that's good enough you have cobalt blue um and for magenta i think you do have um perm rose i think perm rose would probably be that color so you have cobalt blue perm rose and like a green so it's kind of a it's actually a little bit more yellow than green color so that's 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 the color that's the palette we're gonna use next next week. I can't wait to try. I think the colors will look really really nice, and uh, one of the colors, one of the um, paintings, one of the reference photograph that we are going to use, um, I have not decided on. We have not decided on a portrait yet, but definitely we're gonna try um, something. Uh, we'll be gonna be trying um, like uh, most likely we will be drawing. Um, hold on, let me just kind of look for it. Okay, for some reason, I can't find it anymore. Wait, hold on. Yeah, so I think we'll be do, doing something like this, like a Santorini um, picture, like a picture from Santorini. So you do have this lines. Cobalt blue will look pretty nice here, I think, and then you could kind of mix this brown color. So this will be kind of fun to, to paint. Um, I will share a few of these photographs as well. So do you, in, in one of the weeks, I will look through that. But today... We have uh, we are done with um, this. Uh, we shall now uh, Rose will work. Okay, great. So yeah, we are done with this uh, introduction. Now we are gonna start painting. Um, okay, so the paint what we are doing today is a Japanese garden. Uh, in fact, it is actually shared by um, someone from our Discord server. Um, uh, Xiao. Right, but Shiok is not able to be around today to kind of watch this. But this is a picture of uh, somewhere that she went to uh, pre-COVID, like before COVID, you know, could all travel, right? So this is actually the garden behind one of her hotels that she stayed, it, stayed, stayed at. 
Um, and I really quite like the sakura. So as you can see from the sakura trees, like this is probably in, during springtime. So, you know, like it really suits. Um, I know like probably in Japan, the uh, sakura season has, has gone, is gone. And, um, but I guess, you know, let's just, um, let's just try. <laughs> because we had tried, we tried the uh, English garden, the Monet's garden. Uh, so let's use gouache for the Japanese garden to see if that's gonna work. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna work, you know. Um, and unlike what we did last time, remember I at that time I said, you know, let's not... Oops, I'm sorry. Like, let's not mix color. But I guess it, it's not a big deal if I mix. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna use it um, if I mix. I try not to mix, but if, if, if I mix, then yeah, it's, it's still, it's all right. So I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I am going. To, I'm using this watercolor. It's an Escoda um, watercolor book, which I had a lot of trouble, a lot of problem with it, um, especially for watercolor. So you remember, I we were using the CMYK, uh, palette, right? And I had a lot of trouble because of the how easy it was to lift the colors out from the the the, the um, layer that's underneath. So I decided to dedicate this to gouache and yeah, non watercolor uh, media. So that was uh, with the acrylic gouache and this is with gouache. So I don't know why I drew these, but I drew those and they were not useful at all. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm gonna use skip it and I'm gonna use this part, this one today. Okay. So this is Escoda. It's supposed to be a uh, for watercolor. I don't know why it's not good for watercolor. <laughs> I should complain to them. Oh, anyway. Okay, let me just take my washi tape. Right. Maybe I should let the people on the Discord know that we have started. Yeah, I, I have been changing the timing, so it's kind of difficult for people to kind of know when I do this. But yeah, I think um for now on, I, I would probably start a little bit later because, you know, like Singapore is opening up. Um, I mean, like we, we kind of be return to what we have been, uh, you know, uh, do we we return to kind of pre COVID, um, there's no restriction, so we could actually do, um, whatever we want, and I've been kind of going out, so yeah, so it's kind of difficult to get stuff done. Yeah, okay, <laughs> let me just type. <sighs> you know, there's actually some robots that you can actually some bots that you can. Um, actually do something about like you can actually program for that bot to kind of uh, send a message to everybody but I have not gone to getting that um, settled so I, I'm so like <laughs> now I'm so not good at these things so anyway as usual um, I would paint I would just put the uh, masking tape Oh, uh, well, this is washi tape. You could use masking tape. Okay. I like using uh, washi tape because there's so many sizes and they don't damage the surface. So I think it's better than using masking tape. Yeah. So um, the picture that's shared by Siok, right? Um, she actually has someone like painted uh, it a uh, 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 watercolor version. I think she's gonna try painting it too. Uh, we're gonna see how that works. Uh, whether that would be good enough. I'm a little bit concerned about the color, like how, like ooh, okay. Like I find that the oh, sorry ah, okay. Yeah, I find that it's changing. Like the 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 the, the warmth, the temperature of the the light just keep changing. <laughs> that is it's quite disturbing. Okay, I'm gonna start streaming first. I mean streaming. I'm, I'm gonna start drafting this first. So today is, um, you know, like May Day is coming. And I think on the 2nd, if I'm not wrong, is it 2nd or May? Like, um, there's also a holiday that we call the Hari Raya Haji. Eh, Hari Raya? No, it's just Hari Raya. So it's uh, Ramadan. I think they call it Ramadan as well. It's like a, like a New Year. Uh, um, end of the fasting uh, celebration for Muslims. So we, we have that like um, kind of uh, uh, the, the holiday for May Day and that is kind of together. So we, uh, we are having a long weekend of holiday. We call it a long weekend because the holiday falls on Monday and Tuesday. 
So today started Saturday, starts on Saturday, Sunday, and then we have Monday and Tuesday. So we had like four consecutive days of leave. And a lot of people are actually, you know, because we kind of open up, so a lot of people are kind of, um, yeah, they just going away and uh, going to Malaysia, going to Thailand, you know, places that are kind of open. You know, like, not all countries are open up right now. But certainly for those that are open up, uh, you see um, people going back, going over for holiday. So, yeah. So that's why I think a lot of people are not um, around. Especially Singaporeans. Yeah. But I, I don't really see like a significant drop in number of people. You know, there are actually quite a lot of people still. So, I, I don't know. Maybe we are just too densely populated. Anyhow. So, yeah. That's, do, do you guys have uh, Labor Day or like May Day? Just wondering. Is it an international holiday? I don't think it's exclusively Singaporean, right? The first of May. Maybe it's called something else. But it's just like a day where people kind of rest at home. Um, like an official day for people to rest. Yeah. So I am just using the pencil to draft this. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be probably gonna be cover up later on when I paint, but you know, at least I painted it. So I find the um, ch cherry blossom tree is very interesting, like the shape, like the trunks, the trunks are kind of wonky, like they go like, you know, they're not like the straight and neat kind, you know, they, they're like all um, a little bit benny and then looks like waves, <laughs> I don't know, you know, that's what I thought. No, not there. Oh, I see, I see. Is it the, I don't know where that originated from, you know, the, the, um, the holiday, uh, we call it May Day holiday. And I think, um, this is a good month because we, we have a lot of holidays. Um, on one of the, another day, I think it's like, I forgot, I think it's the 8th of May or something. We also have this, um, day called, uh, Visak Day. So Visak Day is a Buddhist uh, holiday um, where they celebrate the um, Enlightenment Day of uh, Buddha, right? So this is a religious holiday for the Buddhists and it's a public holiday. So it also falls on I think a, a Sunday or something. So we also get like the Monday off. So, so, so yeah, May is a good good month. It's a month of, of rest. So I'm really looking forward to resting because I haven't been really doing a lot of rest. I, 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 there were a lot of things I need to do, but I couldn't because I, I had work. So this is a crazy hectic, you know. I always find the April, um, April March timing to be very, very hectic because I, I don't know, I seem to have a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, work is good. You know, um, it means that the economy is doing well. Um, yeah, I have stuff to do. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. So sometimes don't complain too much because, yeah, being busy is is kind of good sometimes. You know. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm drawing the 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 bridge. Okay. So I may have to actually use, use, I'm not even sure if, oh, I think I could. I will probably be kind of truncating the top because I, I, I just don't have a very big piece of paper for this. I, I, I think for this, right, I remember that when I first did this um, on the other um, painting, um, you know, the, 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 the Monet's garden, I find that I didn't, I used it too thickly. I use the paint a little bit too thickly, so I might actually just use um, kind of a light wash for some of the colors, for some, for, 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 just to, to paint it, okay? So, I'm trying my best to, to draft it. I want to make sure that it's kind of, uh, yeah. No, this looks a little bit big, so I may actually need to make it smaller. So that's a problem, you know, like I haven't been drawing for a while. I find like, you know, drawing is really um, something that you need to practice. 
because if you haven't been, uh, you will not, you find that it, you know, you, you, you don't, you kind of forget how to estimate how big things are and you may draw them a little bit, you may draw them too big, which is what happened just now. You can't really see, right, the color because of the, okay, better now? Yeah, oh, I think it's auto-changing it, so it's just making things a little bit. Okay, hold on, let me adjust this. I'm I think I need to use the logic capture. Just hold on for a minute. Let me just adjust the the uh, lighting because I think the lighting is a little bit uh dark. Like it kind of just auto like focus. So I'm not sure if we actually can I change priority. So what does this say? Um yeah, I guess I would just use exposure for priority because I, I hate it when the color just swaps, like switches around. Can't stand it. Uh, okay, right. Okay, so yeah. I hope it doesn't now. Oh, it still does though. Like, oh, um, okay. I, I don't know. I'm really not good at this. I... <laughs> Mm. Let's just try. Okay, so this is... Uh, yeah. I guess it's okay. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of fun to just kind of try it. I think... I, I don't know if it, it, it would actually work um, with, with water... I mean, with, with watercolor, I've not really, I, I have no time to try it, um, but I think it would be also pretty nice, yeah. But I, I, I believe it would be easier um, using uh, gouache, because you know how gouache you could actually use, it's kind of more flexible. Oh, oh you bought, you bought a 3 times 4 inch sketchbook to practice ink pen and ink uh yeah it's pretty hard right <laughs> so you really need to a lot of practice which is why i i still kind of make sure that i do um um you know like every sunday i'll do like a draw with me um stream and i'll make myself a uh, draw a short front uh which is just really like a short like a, a, a very small like a short picture um, picture and then i'll just draw it um it kind of helped it kind of helped, but um, but I think you know it does help with the drawing part because you kind of practice the the actual drawing. But then, if if you talk about like getting the proportion right in relation to other stuff, you like there's really like a lot of things going on. Um, then no, it's not that helpful. I really need this session, so I guess you'll see a little bit of, of uh, me being rusty here. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not easy. Um, but I think that's that's how it is. They we, we call this rusty, right? <laughs> like you haven't been using, uh, your eyes, your brain, to to kind of judge, uh, how big things are to kind of compare. So it's, it will be a little bit difficult, um, to get things right. Yeah, but um, I guess that's why you need to practice. Um, yeah. So now I'm just doing the practice. So you expect to see a lot of like things with the wrong size. <laughs> so this looks really nice. I think it's like a, a, a kind of a little, um, there's a drop. So you have the water just coming down with a little waterfall here. Looks really good. Like, I don't believe this is actually like a bag of a, ho uh, of a hotel. Yeah, so, so far. Yeah, this, this is what um, Siok Art said. Like she said, this is actually a bag of a hotel in Japan. Um, yeah, that's so cool. So some of these I am not able to get a lot of uh, details. Yeah, bigger than a thumbnail. Uh, 3 by 4 inch, 3 by 4, 3 inch by 4 inch. That would be like 7 cm times like 12 times 7 cm or so. Yeah, mine is pretty small, like this, this one that I'm drawing. It is just like, I don't understand why. <laughs> when I draw you, you guys can't see this. Like, what? What is this? 
Just hold on for a minute. Let me adjust it again. Oh, yeah. It's always giving me trouble. Um, how do I kind of stop it? Oh, auto focus, auto white band. Hmm? Ah, oh, let me see. Advanced setting. Ah, oh, image setting. So I think I will do what I'll do is I'll make it a little bit darker. Okay, so that when this happened, yeah, I think it's a momentarily thing, like momentarily. It will kind of just kind of adjust. Okay, looks better now. Is it better? Is it better? Let me just make it a little, darken it a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, looks better now, right? Can see, right? Hey. <laughs> That, that that happens. Um, I have not really thought about how to paint it yet. I think the, sometimes art, right? Like especially painting, it's also a lot about trying to know the layers, trying to kind of like paint in certain layers so that you can get the look, get it to kind of look the way that you want. Um, yeah, so that takes a lot of practice. And uh, I, think, I think after a while, you kind of, um, know after you've done it a few times um, you kind of know how how it will look okay so that's a few more and then we do have uh, it's another no I think it's too close so this one has a lot of details hey block user hello glad to see you around so yeah Nancy and I have been uh, uh, talking about I guess me talking about uh about drawing um, and, and being rusty. So I do feel like after not doing painting for a while, I get a little bit rusty. So last week I had a good break, but, <laughs> but I became rusty and I, now I don't think I can I can draw very well. Like it, it, it just, be, I, I become a little bit less um, it, it accurate. Like I used to be pretty good at estima estimating things and, and could just draw them, but now, yeah, I need a lot of help. Didn't you go? Didn't you go anywhere, block? Like, do you go to Malaysia? How come you didn't go to Malaysia? I think a lot of people are in Malaysia. Um, and like, in short trips here and there. Okay. Yeah, I think... Oh wait, let's not forget the stones. So there are all these rocks that's in the... In the pond. I'm just gonna put that in first. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so this is the, the what we have from Siok's um, picture. And I think I'm just going to start painting. And I'm going to use gouache. So gouache, you paint it in a different way. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to paint. If let's say I'm going to do watercolor, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Like I can't even think. Huh? Am I? Am I still pretty sharp? Thank you. I don't know leh. <laughs> I think I kind of lose lose it a little. Okay, the problem with this set of watercolor. Ah, uh, sorry. This set of paint is is so big. So ah, uh, maybe I need to kind of adjust it so that I can just hold for me. I need to refigure, reconfigure my my uh, painting surface. Okay, I'm just gonna push this. You can't see my painting, right? No. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Okay, if I were to push this here, whoa, what's happened? Okay, if I were to push this here, you guys could see this. Yeah, I guess then I'll just have to, but it's really strange to paint it like that. No choice lah. I think I just have to push, put it here. Okay, yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> ah! What? Okay, I have to kind of clean this because I think when I replace the... Let me show you guys what happened. So when I replaced the, the, the cover, I, I, I think I didn't replace it the right way and now it looks like that. So I may have to use a wet tissue to kind of clean this off later. Okay, this will be done later. I shall start painting first. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. So I'm going to use two... I think I'm gonna use this tool. Wow, well, I have the usual paint brushes that I have. Yeah. So, are you going to J. Chow's uh, concert vlog? Were you forced to go by your wife? <laughs> Did she force you to go? <laughs> like, oh, do you?
you love me. <laughs> if you love me, you have to go, you have to accompany me to, uh, uh, did she ask you? Like, oh, if you love me, you have to go with me to Jay Chow's uh, concert. So I'm gonna bring I bring out these several um paint brushes and uh, yeah let's start. I don't know if this is going to be difficult. Um, neat. I will use um a paintbrush. I mean a little palette here to kind of hold my brushes while I'm painting, and um I may have a little tissue. Maybe I'll use a, a cloth, a rug. Okay, yeah, so any plans to do it, go anywhere, um, block user is taken for this few days that you are, that we all have, like Singaporeans have a nice time to kind of rest at home and do nothing. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, I need to, to have a paper here because I kind of need to kind of make sure, oh, you, you won't say, you won't say you will go, but you definitely go to the Liverpool exhibition game. Is Liverpool coming? Okay, I, I'm not a, sucks, a, a soccer person, but I think um, I do have a friend who always goes to like a, um, a Premier League uh, game uh, every time she goes to London. Like when she goes to Europe, she always goes, she, she always goes to Europe um, like every, every year. And when every time she goes to Europe, she will definitely make sure that she attends like a game there. So I believe, yeah, that's like kind of her like bucket list lah. Like every year she'll actually do it. So I think she's a Manchester United uh, fan. Okay. I am not sure if if you know anything. I, I can't say like I'm really good at it though. But I mean, yeah. <laughs> when are they coming? Is it before or after? Uh... J Chow probably after so now I'm just doing a wash so when you do a wash um, I think there isn't a need like to uh, I use water here yeah I guess so right which is why I'm not I don't think I'm going again because I think he's gonna probably do the same because he didn't have any new songs Oh, his appeal is kind of dropping your eyes. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, but I must say he hasn't been, like, coming out with a lot of new songs. Um, yeah. I guess can't be helped. Because, you know, like, it doesn't help that we have COVID, right? And then, because with COVID, you, you, can't, you can't really do a lot of engagement. You can't, you can't really do concert. And it doesn't make sense to spend money making music when you can't really kind of, you know, earn that from concerts. So, I think a lot of artists kind of just give up <laughs> like don't really uh, do anything do any uh, new there are no songs and they, they kind of like yeah kind of it's like a rest time for them like even JJ um, I think they when I was when I attended the last J Chow concert JJ also had one concert um, after that I think and it was really like quite quite close to uh, the um, like quite cut very close to COVID I think I don't know why I didn't go I think it was like probably like the week after or something yeah but anyway um, yeah so I haven't like I, I really don't know how those people kind of survive you know with have been you know for these few years with the COVID and everything how are they gonna be paid how are they gonna uh, kind of survive you know maybe they have to dig into their their bank account la, like their pocket to earn money from it so anyway i'm um, just trying to use watercolor uh, not watercolor i i'm using i'm diluting it with a lot of water um to kind of do to kind of do like a wash you know so i i re i realized that it's actually possible to do a wash if with wash um and then you know um, use a thicker mixture kind of over it so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to do a wash. So the fun thing to do with this set of what of wash is that it is you don't have to mix colors. So you just you just go out, you just find the the closest color and you just use it. 
<laughs> so now I'm just doing some texture over here. Hi Ash Boy! Hello! <laughs> How are you Ash Boy? It's a good... I think it should be a good day where you are, right? It's close. Uh, probably a if, uh, afternoon, late afternoon time. <laughs> so today I'm just doing uh, gouache painting. Um, yeah. You know, like the last time we actually did gouache uh, for the, um, uh, the Monet's Garden. So today I will just try to have fun just using the gouache as it is. I'm doing a light wash right now um, just for a Japanese garden because this is something that someone has actually um, uh, from our Discord server. Uh, she actually went to this place. It's actually somewhere that she had, had, had um, visited when she visited Japan and uh, she really uh, loved it. So yeah, she said, you know, could, we, could I try? Like, could we all try this? There's something that she kind of loves. So, yeah, we just want to bring it. Vlog says, oh, he went some, somewhere today. <laughs> Spent seven hours in Mandai. Oh, you mean like the zoo? <laughs> so in Singapore, there's a famous zoo. Um, and it's located in Mandai. So you would like to confirm that? <laughs> As Roy says, yeah, it's been sunny today. That's really, really good. Sunny day is always like the best day to do to do stuff. I um, and it's a time to kind of go out and, and kind of uh, uh, enjoy um, the good weather and everything. So, yeah, I think I shall just use this, um, just kind of wash it over. I will just use a dark color to wash and then I'm just going to use the light color over the dark colors. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. So I'm going to wash it, you know, uh, because I'm going to paint a light a darker a white a lighter color on over it oh i didn't go to the urban sketches um sketch walk today because as you i think the people who are on the discord server you actually know that like i'm been pretty busy um this whole week because of work so i you know every night every day when i reach home you know because i i had to go to tours tours is a I mean, okay, Singapore's not that big, but then um, Tuas is kind of like the other end of the, um, the other end of the the the, the country, city, um, in Singapore, and and I we had to travel like uh for me a bar the a car ride, to Tuas takes me about a good half one and a half hours um, <laughs> and it nearly I nearly died. I, I thought that I was going to die. It's just so draining. I'm so tired every day. Okay, the problem now with actually using all these colors is that there's so many colors that I can't really decide which color I'm going to use. So, okay, never mind. There goes nothing. I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to use... Uh, I'm going to do a light wash for the pond over here. Okay. You know, maybe I should just use one one paint brush. So as I was saying, um, yeah, because I'm so tired, um, and I really just want to rest and sleep. So I decided to sleep late. Um, you know, sleep, sleep until you know, sleep until I, I like, um, like I just woke up without the alarm clock. So that's, that's what I did today. So I, I'm glad I had a, I mean, good sleep. <laughs> I'm glad I slept okay. <laughs> so I didn't go. But I, I think it's kind of a pity because it's a uh, first time that Urban Sketches managed to kind of do the outing after so long because we have been um, not being able to do our sketch walk. And this is kind of the first day, first time this year that we managed to do that. Um, and and unfortunately, yeah, yeah, I didn't go. <laughs> yeah. And it's actually to a place that I really love, which is um, uh, Kampong Glam. Um, which is also the area that we call uh, the Malay village, um, Malay cultural center is there. And yeah, very interesting place, very beautiful streets, um, have a lot of beautiful short fronts there. So if you can't follow my short front drawing, you kind of know that place a little bit more. You know that um, I, I actually take a look at photographs from there uh, for my short front challenge. So now I'm going to use a darker color to kind of paint um, the uh, interior. So I might use a 
brown. In fact, this is a very interesting set of water, this um, gouache is that there isn't a lot of brown. So now I'm just taking uh, the uh, brown, the only brown that I have, and I'm just going to use it here. Yeah, Tuas is very far for me. It's crazy far. Um, yeah, so it's really tiring for me to, to go to Tuas, you know, that good one and a half hours, and the one and a half, half hours back. So you can imagine I spent about three hours on the road, um, but luckily I didn't have to drive. But if I have to drive, you know, it's going to be really, really tiring. So that's why, you know, I've been not like kind of recuperating from, from this, uh, problem, problem, this tired, uh, week. Okay. So I'm just kind of, yeah, I know you do, right? You used to travel. Oh, you used to co commute daily. You mean you don't go to Tuas now? What? That's... Do you work in 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 the island right now? Like you don't have to go to Tuas? That's really good that you don't have to go. It's crazy, right? Like if you don't have a car, there's no way you're gonna get there. Nancy says, oh, what, that's not a reason why she didn't buy the 56 count. It's too much and you don't have a pit. Yeah, yeah, precisely. But the colors are really nice. I, I, I must say, I really quite like the colors. I think they are they are really very pretty. Yeah. But I am I think I should try to I'm gonna kinda of use yeah, just kinda of mix the colour a bit. Like you know the last time when I did this I did the no no water no no what do you call that? No mixing, right? Yeah. Today I am no rules. <laughs> There's no rules. I'm just gonna do whatever. Except that maybe uh my rule is that I'm gonna use I'm going to use uh, just big brush. I'm not going to use anything else. I'm not sure why I use white. <laughs> oh, my SMRT, what? <laughs> yeah, that's why it took me one and a half hours. It's just so, so far that far. I had to go and, uh, you know, from uh, my, my colleague drives. So my colleague drops me at Tuas Crescent. And then from Tuas Crescent, I will take a train to Bona Vista and from Bona Vista I take the train to Serangoon. That took me one and a half hours. It's just so so tiring. <laughs> you know it's the kind where you fell asleep and you wake up you'll still be on a train kind. You know that feel <laughs> that feeling. Okay I think I, I, I probably need to kind of just do a light kind of a light wash of all the colors. Kind of just wash it over so that we kind of um, firstly, know which area you are um, painting on, and um, probably also, uh, you know, so that we can we have something to work on. So I'm just going to do this part first, uh, right now. Okay, so I'm doing this right now. Uh, just painting the washing. So let's not spend too much time doing the wash because. The wash is kind of the other painting and, and in the end, you know, I have to put stuff on top of it. Yeah. Ah, you go to Pase Panjang now. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yes. I see. Okay, 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 okay. Isn't that is that better? That's probably better. Yeah, the twas is crazy. But I, I really quite like the um marina. Um you know there's a Raffles Marina there. So I quite like the lighthouse, the feel, the whole place looking, you know, very, feeling very idyllic. So maybe, you know, DRJS Pro and I would find, we'll probably visit the, uh, the place, um, the, the, the Raffles Marina, um, these few days, lah, within this holiday, hopefully, and kind of just rest and sit and watch ships pass by and, and, uh, yeah, and relax. <laughs> yeah. Oh, back when you didn't have your own motorbike, it took about one half hours from the moment you leave the front door to reach the office door. Yeah, precisely. So for me, okay, because I I am going there for work, I get to claim back that money. I I mean I get to claim the transport. Um, but that Grab, uh, ride took one and a half hours. Um, on the day at, at uh during rush hour, morning rush hour. And when I go home, um, it's just so difficult to get cabs, um, to get grab, right? That I had to take the, the take the take the train. They just wouldn't come. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just so difficult. 
like they just don't want to dictate you. So that's the that's the issue. Ah, uh, Tuas is a sad place to be at. Like nobody cares about you. Like they nobody want to care about you. <laughs> it's like oh, okay. Are you going to Tuas? Oh, poor thing. Too bad <laughs> you are going there. So I I used to had a I, I last year I had a, a work had to go to Tuas no Jurong Island for work and it was also pretty far. <laughs> so. Yeah, but I was pretty lucky at that time because my colleague managed to kind of drop me. Um, yeah, but it was also a long, long way. So when I know, every time I, I when I know that I'm supposed to go to Tuas for work, I get really depressed. <laughs> How do you do that? Do they actually compensate you, like for for traveling for for that for that long ride? You know that. I, I think you, you will really have to pay me a lot if if you want me to do that all the time. I will not want to do travel so much. Like every day. Spend so long in the train, you know, to go to work. Yeah. So I'm doing the underpainting right now. So continuing with that. Okay. Um I'm just thinking whether I should use like a brown. Maybe I should just use a mark. Yeah, use a little like kind of a brown, orangey brown color for some of these areas, probably here as well. So as you can see, I'm I'm just still doing the underpainting. Okay, the fun part is there. Oh, you should drive. Oh yeah, the address Pro. Um yeah, reason why I don't drive is I I get distracted. I'm a I I there was once that I drove, um through a pedestrian crossing it was like green man and i just drew past it without even knowing that i was driving past it and the surprise people were really surprised to see like um, yeah why is this lady driving uh when we are crossing the road i only realized when i was like when i passed by when a car went past um when i you know when i drove past that i oh wait was that the red light, green light that I saw? Like, I said red light that I saw. Like, okay, did I just pass? Um, yeah, yeah, and I did. So, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Luckily, nothing happened. I didn't bump into anyone. But that was, that was really bad. So, I'm, I'm very easily distracted. So, I think for the safety of people on the road, I shouldn't drive. Mm. Ah, okay. A block says, oh, Singapore's really small. Oh, really? That's really nice. Oh, do you see the baby panda? Mm. Do you see the... Eh, what's his name? Ah? Le Le, right? Oh, do you see the baby panda? So, as you guys know, I don't know if you guys know, but non-Singaporeans, um, we have a new... We have a new panda baby. <laughs> baby panda. Um, and, and he's probably... You did see him, right? He's probably a around um, to in, in, the, in the enclosure today. So maybe maybe he maybe a blog user has seen the baby panda. Yeah, I haven't been to the zoo for the longest time. I think it's very crowded. So mm -mm. did your kid join enjoy enjoy it? Ah uh, yeah yeah COE is just too expensive. It's crazy expensive um in Singapore. So. It's a sad thing, lah. You know that the that that we actually um, are known for having such atrocious prices for for cars. So COE is like a kind of a license to have a to drive a car in Singapore. Sad, sad, but tr true, la, Huh? Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna use this. I I think this is this color. Oh no 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 no. This color is really good for this area. So I'm just gonna kind of paint it through uh yeah like that okay yeah got okay so this is i'm still doing the underpainting um i i thought the coe is even higher like recently gone even higher it, it i think it only goes up <laughs> i don't know if it actually has gone down before um yeah, it just makes car more expensive to bit to buy. Um, yeah, 
don't I think you know Singapore being so small, right? Um uh, if everybody were to have a car, um it's gonna be very difficult. Oh blueberry! Hey, hi, hello! Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, these are lovely colors. Remember the fifty six colors that I I used the last time. So I'm using the same colors um for this, and I think the colors are really nice to use. I'm doing a light wash. So after this, I'm gonna use a uh, another a, a thicker uh, um like uh I'm gonna use it thickly um later on. So this is just a light wash. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> okay. The good thing about this is that we do have a lot of colors, so I could actually just kind of just dump the colors in and not think too much about it. Yeah. Our blog user says, Lola was having a nap. Ay yeah, why? Did they have like a nap timetable so people would actually know if, um, you know, by the time they reach the enclosure, the, the panda would be asleep. That's kind of a sad thing. Do you manage to see the panda? Do you see the, the baby panda? Or, or was he like kind of just resting and, and you don't see it at all? Uh, that would be a... Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it is. It's pretty interesting. I think I'm I'm using a little bit... I don't know, like, I'm, am I using too little water? Like, my, my light wash is just so super light. It could also be um, because of the paper that I'm using. Um, I'm using this, um, you remember I have this paper from Escoda that I use for watercolor and it's not good <laughs> so I decided to use it for gouache. This is a little bit too 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 red so I'm just gonna probably mix it with a bit of uh, green okay to kind of just make it more brown okay I'm not sure I am just have to probably let it dry a little bit and I'm gonna see how that that would work I hope I, I can <laughs> It's a, bit, a little bit scary um, sometimes, you know, when you try different ways of doing stuff and then you might end up not, like, being able to get that. Um, yeah, but, you know, if you don't try, you never know. And I'm using a, a, a flat brush. So I think I've seen a few people just using exclusively flat, flat brush. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, you saw one parent walking up and down very actively. Oh, really? Lala has a oh ho Lala has a camera train on him and sleeping. Oh so he's sleeping but you guys could see that he's actually sleeping. I see I see. Ah oh. that's good that I actually share. Like can you imagine if you've gone there and then he's sleeping and you couldn't even see him? I think that would be a shame, right? Like like I would be so sad <laughs> if I go there and say, Oh panda is sleeping, sorry, um you don't see the panda, too bad. <laughs> Oh no, I made a mistake. That's supposed to be like a... Okay, I could actually... Can you see how easy it is to kind of like scrub the colors off? Okay, I'm not sure if this is... What I'm planning to do is going to work. Because this um, paper is so easy uh, to, to... It's so easy to actually get colors out from there. Hmm. Oh. Oh, there's a big TV screen that shows the baby panda doing... Oh, so cute. I think a, a good time to go is probably like evening time because he would actually be kind of eating his dinner or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if, if that parent is like kind of frantically running up and down, I guess that's the mom. <laughs> I always think like it's probably mom is usually the less, like the more, the less, uh, it's the, the, the more stressed one. Uh, and the dad is probably the, you know, yeah, chill, <laughs> the chill kind. Because, yeah, I think that's, that's how, like, for human, that's how it happens too, you know. <laughs> yeah. So glad that you managed to see the, the panda baby. Uh, I haven't gone. So, yeah, I hope one day, like, soon, someday. Uh, I, I, I actually spent the whole day today just resting and then also trying to like kind of uh, work on my videos because you know like I oh um, um I introduce I, I have um I tried my schedule my uh, YouTube schedule is like about um, every Saturday I would have a video so yeah I'm working on that I'm trying to make sure that I kind of keep to that schedule so I'm kind of working on my video for this week because you know I'm so busy with work that I didn't really have time 
um, to to actually do anything else other than work, sleep and work, <laughs> and getting enough rest. But I think that's pretty important um, at that, you know, when I had my work. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so this says, uh, let me see if I am missing anything out. I think I, I probably need a little bit more green here and there. So I think it kind of worked because, um, yeah, this piece is um, um, crazy with colors. So it's probably easy, okay, to just do this. To just like what I'm doing right now, just dumping in the colors. Yeah, but if the if if it's uh something that requires more defined colors, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to do. So yeah, so now I'm just going to let me show you, let me show you. Oh I do have to actually put in all the <gasps> My strawberry perrier is here. Ah. Oh, that feels really good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the RGS Pro brought me a can of um. Oh, that's really good. Perrier, cold, nice. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue. I had a good, good break. I mean, like a good, good drink. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So now I'm just trying to introduce some texture. Uh, gonna try to put in a little bit more of a light color here. So I'm kind of mixing. I still prefer to mix color. You know, even though, you know, I did try like that time not to mix color. It kind of worked, but I still prefer to mix colors. Because it, it kind of helped to make the colors more like um, natural. Like the colors seem to um, be more... Okay, I might need to kind of switch to another brush. Let's see. I'll, I'll try to switch to another brush. Okay, because it's not giving me that round thing. I'm, I'm switching to a smaller brush. And then um, I'm just going to use uh, one of the dark green colors. I'm going to mix it, okay, with another green color. Okay, and I will try to get some texture. Oh, what's this? This brush has been with me for a long time. And I think it's time for me to change it. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm just adding some of these texture in there. So these are the... Um, I think these are what we call like the foliages, you know, the little stuff here and there. Okay the leaves hmm. this is a very interesting paper so if you guys are like you want a paper that lifts color really really easily um yeah you can you can try this paper and if everything just leaves out like it just comes out very very easily I think it's a not a good thing, especially if you are doing like watercolor. It's really not not a good thing to do to, to to have. Okay, so now I will put. I will start to do a little bit of details. I'm gonna see how that's gonna work. <laughs> ah, what happened? Okay, there. Okay. I'm going to just gonna do a little bit of the. Uh... Can you see? I'm trying to do the. Uh, tree trunk yeah so so it's gonna be like hidden half hidden between leaves you know things like that so that's gonna be here and there I hope Siok is not going to be like disappointed <laughs> it's a little bit stressful sometimes you know um, when you talk about when you do like kind of a, I wouldn't say this is a request la, but it's just something that someone share and just kind of want to try to do that um, properly uh yeah but this is with with gouache some more is like a something that i don't always use so yeah so for at this stage i think i'm kind of okay with the colors going in so i am trying to to just fill in the details so that we 
kind of know what we are seeing here because otherwise it's just gonna be a mess of just you know green so we can't really see stuff um, which is why now I'm just trying to, to do that paint this in so uh, yeah mm -hmm. so there's like a trunk that's like here and it's kind of like a one trunk here and then we have all these details so yeah do have one more here I think if I'm not wrong so just remember that you kind of need to use the paint a little bit thicker um, and just be really um, kind of uh, patient when you do this okay So these are the kind of a broken lines that you have from like the trunk just kind of picking out from from the from whatever that is in there so and also some of these details so i'm just gonna make i'm not gonna i'm gonna use a darker color like a darker green okay hope you guys can see is it is it okay like is it hope you guys can actually see this I'm trying my best so certain parts are kind of darker than others so that's what I'm doing is this how you guys use gouache I'm just wondering if I'm actually doing this or right is there actually a right way to paint to, to paint with gouache kind of a darker like I'm just gonna kind of use a darker color here I know like it's also possible to use light color so I can kind of also use like a light really light green color over here and uh, just kind of put it over so I think it's kind of fun to just you know because the colors are not very expensive in, and you just kind of it's, it, it allows you to do a lot of things to it too can you see the yeah, I think it's kind of fun to just do a little bit things here and there. And I'm um, just going to continue with that. Okay. Nice. Fun. Okay. Then I'm going to use a very, make a very light, super light green with a bit of white. Okay. More white than green. Well, this part so that's this low part here I think it's probably here let me see it's really small though I think it's this one so I'm just gonna kind of just quickly just dot no if like yeah guys can see this and then probably nearer to the bottom it, the, it will be kind of more green something like that so that's a good that's the thing you can do with gouache that you can't do with uh, watercolor okay this I'm, I'm I don't really want to use this color okay you, you guys will see this actually oh this is a disgusting color I'm gonna mix it okay so there's this green here that is, I think, a very disgusting green color. So I kind of mix it with a yellow, so it kind of looks less. But it's not showing though, so I'm going to use another green. Okay, I'm going to use this green. Yeah, this is a nicer green. I'm not sure if you guys can see here that there's actually in a few green colors. There's actually a gray, like a rock color, so I'm going to use... Yeah, there's a, there's a piece of rock here, so I'm just going to use it use the rock here color here 
and this part is darker so yeah show some kind of shadow and the bottom here as well here okay and in fact there's actually some pebbles here so I'm gonna do the pebbles like that okay so at least we do see a little bit of stuff and uh, yeah so this part is darker so I'm gonna use kind of a yeah okay Oh, you're not, not that you're aware of. You enjoy being able to use light over dark. Sometimes you forget that to treat it as a dark over light, like watercolor. Yeah, it's very interesting, right? Like how you use it. Um, I, I think it's kind of flexible. Fle more flexible than, than watercolor. You don't have to paint in a certain way. Like you, you, you could use it like watercolor. You can as well use it. Like you can use it uh, light over dark. You can use it uh, dark over light as well. So I think it's kind of versatile. Um, and fun to use. The only thing that I don't really like it is kind of really kind of glaze. So when you paint, you got to be really careful um, that you don't like kind of take off the layers if you're un unintentionally. Yeah, so I think that's uh, uh, the only problem I have with, 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 with gouache. La. Like having the two layers and making sure the layers don't... Uh, having the... Um, not, not getting the layers out um, un unintentionally. Okay. So can you see I'm using like dark over light, light over dark over here. Yeah. And I'm just gonna use uh just the white, okay, uh on some parts. Uh I believe it is there are a lot of actually quite a lot, a crazy lot of colors here. Um before I do that I think I'll use crazy colors. Really, really crazy. I will use other colors, maybe this one. Okay, I'll just put in the colors. Like maybe, yeah. Okay, there's actually some color, some of the shades here. So I'm just gonna use a crazy green. Okay, I'm gonna use more of that crazy green. You know the problem with um, having so many colors is then finding the right color you know normally if I don't if I have just a few colors the only problem I have is mixing it so my brain will only think about mixing but now my brain is not thinking about mixing my color <laughs> my brain is thinking about which color is the closest match <laughs> it's kind of like more things to think about so I'm also thinking about like mixing as well so I have so many things going on my mind okay I'm mixing this um, let's find the closest color and then let's mix it and then at different colors, for different colors, you have to think of it and, and, and you know, you, 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 that, 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 that thinking, you just have to kind of repeat it. Um, and it can be a little bit um, different when you're using like just watercolor and you're kind of mixing the color. That, that, that's what I think. La. That's, that's the difference. So, yeah. I'm not sure if anyone have the same think that is a is a problem maybe you guys think that it's actually is you don't have such a problem <laughs> i'm like the only one with, with this issue having problems with uh thinking about mixing and then thinking about matching matching color at the same matching the color and thinking about mixing at the same time hmm, crazy i don't know maybe just me okay there are a lot of very interesting colors, but in the end, I find that I don't really go for all the weird colors. I kind of just go back to a few. Um, yeah, I guess it really depends on the, the kind of painting you're making. There's no way you kind of need to use change the um, use different colors all the time. Yeah, so 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 that's why you know we kind of go back to the same colors again and again. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of use uh, those olivey color. Okay, so you see uh, several colors actually over here. So I'm just gonna just, yeah, just dump the colors in and just kind of mix it there. Okay, and then this one, what's this color? Like, why is this so special? Uh, and why is this color so special? What? <laughs> okay. This is kind of weird. Like, why is there this color? Okay, never mind. 
Okay, I'm gonna use a grayish color for this one. Maybe a black. Use a bit of like a dark. Oh, where's that? A bluish black. I don't want a black. Um, so I'll make a dark gray. So there, there isn't a dark. There isn't a dark blue. That gray color. They only have one like gray. And they have black. So I guess that's how they mix it. Like how they make that dark grey. But if you need a dark grey, you kind of need to mix it yourself. So yeah. Okay. Okay, let's just use that green. Over the dark grey. And just kind of So this is like the bottom of the pond. So you kind of have this colour. Okay. It goes there. And then, um, yeah, wait, is that right? Yeah, later on I'll use, I'll use white over it. And I'm going to mix a bit of like white and pink for the Sakura. Okay, water. And so I think over here we have a little bit of that Sakura. So that's the beauty. I think that's the beauty of gouache. The transition, like playing around with that water, that, that light over dark and dark over light. Yeah, and then you could just kind of create different texture with your brush stroke. I think that's the funnest, the best, the best thing that you can do. There's actually a little bit as well, like over here, which is what I'm gonna do. And over here, that's it's really like crazy white. So I'm just gonna have fun dabbing the colors. Mm. Ooh, wait, hold on. I think I need to kind of what I'll do is I'll actually paint the uh, trunks, the branches of the tree. So that's actually a sakura tree. Okay, and there are all these trunks, the uh, branches going crazy over so i'm just gonna just have fun just having it like that it's the funnest part of it okay and then yeah and then for here i use a crazy green it's a crazy green color and same thing i think i shouldn't use too much of that crazy green that green is just too crazy and then just dab some of this. Then we have some dark colors that's interspersed in between here and there. I have a bit of dark, like black color. Just put. Oh, I have some messages. Pretty strange. Okay, so I am using a bit of black here. Okay, for just to do give some uh kind of a value. Okay, difference in value. Adding a bit of water. a little branch as well so I'm just gonna put in the branch okay and over here we also have a branch like a trunk okay and I could also add it to here so there's actually a few of those so it could be done like really quickly as well like over here especially this one so maybe I could actually do this one first I think <laughs> Shook is gonna be. I don't know what she's gonna think about of this. Yeah, but I think it's a fun thing to kind of kind of attempt. It's 
so now I'm just drawing the, the tree trunk, uh, the branches of the Sakura tree. And there's actually another one at the back here. There's also another one here. The interesting about the branch is that it actually is benny. I think I I I I I spoke talk about it just now. They're really cute. Like they are really just very benny. Yeah. It's a interesting thing about it. Okay, like that. Okay, and then uh, let's just use more of that green, crazy green. No, I shouldn't use this green. I should use the other green. Okay. And I realized that they're actually more interesting uh, greens. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab the colors in. Okay. And then uh, let's gonna use some of these red. The camel. Gonna dab the colors in with the green. So let's have some of the greens here. And then we also have this crazy, like super bright green. But I think it's over here, so I'm just gonna kind of dab it. There's this like special green here, which I'm gonna use over here as well. Okay, so super bright, crazy green color, and then uh, yeah, over. So I'm not mixing a lot of colors right now, just dabbing the colors, and I think over here as well. And then I'm gonna mix a kind of a light brown. Like a camel color for these blotches. Okay. And of course, we need the trunk, like the branches again. So I'm using the same way that I do it. Like, I'm just gonna just draw it so that you guys can see that it's actually some branches, you know. I think over here as well, we do have one that goes like this and then there's actually a few yeah that you can see just to kind of show that they are like they are they are just yeah meant to be like that okay and then almost forgot that we actually have the um uh, the other what do you call that the bridge almost forgot the bridge Okay, but before that, I think I will paint the darker areas here, the pond. Okay, because that seemed to be a darker area here. Okay. <laughs> you guys are talking about cars. Gosh, Singapore is crazy lah. Like how can it, it, you know nobody can understand. Like every time we talk about cars, we tell like people here about like non Singaporeans about car. <laughs> they 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 will you know it's the most unbelievable thing they have actually heard. So I, I think they just want us to drive, like not to drive. Like Singaporeans, um please just take the bus. Please uh, take public transport. Transport is good. It takes you one and a half hours to go from one end to the other, and you you just spend three hours on the road. You know, actually, even yeah, 
actually even if I, I you know even if I drive it's probably about that time I don't know I mean that's what I think <laughs> but anyway uh, I don't think I, I, I know that much about cars or about to to make a good explanation or justification anyway so now I'm gonna paint this guy over here you know our Sakura so I'm just gonna kind of dot the color dot the color so to, to make this look good enough you guys kind of need to kind of increase the contrast a bit so I'm not sure if I had uh, done that properly okay yeah but I think it looks fine like it looks actually okay <laughs> Let me try another pink. Okay, so I do have a few pink. So I'm just gonna try a few pink just for fun of it. Like, you do have various pink, so it's not like boring, you know, only one color. Okay, and then you have the white. Yeah. So I'm just doing this slowly. Anyone planning to go overseas like this year? You know what I really miss about traveling? Because Singapore is so flat, right? There's no mountains, there's no grassland, there's no hiking. I really miss that part of traveling. So I told myself that um, my plans, my annual plan, you know, my resolution is to like climb or like hike once a year and uh, maybe to do a short run, visit somewhere with like interesting short run like once a year as well. Yeah, so that's, you know, me being so tired. So I think today I was just kind of thinking to myself, like, you know, what would actually make me feel better? So I think that would kind of make me feel better. Well, now we are talking about why COE is so expensive. <laughs> I think this is the kind of thing that, uh, yeah, that I, that is, they probably won't tell you like why or how that's, that is controlled, but you know, there's always a lot of speculation. So now I'm going to just do this part as well. So this is the tree that's that that's whiter. So in fact, yeah. Can you see? It actually, kind of covers up like this this part here, um, on the trunk, but on the on the branches that I've drawn. But it's fine because you know like how white that one is. I may actually even use it more neat like I, I kind of mix it with the, the pink so now I'm just gonna mix it on its own I'm just gonna use it like neat white okay it doesn't seem white enough though so I might actually even use a water um, use a white uh, gel pen instead or some acrylic or something but yeah something like just to go around some parts of it because it's really really white You know the first time I see um, Sakura, it's actually not in Japan. I've in fact I've not seen been to Jap I've not seen Japanese Sakuras before. Um, the Sakura that I saw was in Korea. Yeah, I mean I guess it's the same, right? Hopefully next time I will be able to see the Japanese one. But if if Japan open, I think it will be flooded with people because everybody wants to go back to Japan. You know, it's like everybody wants to go. I'm uh, probably not the only one. <laughs> yeah. the mad rush when Japan opens. So these are the fox. Oh. 
no problem, no problem. You guys, I, I think it's a guy thing, like talking about cars and stuff. Yeah, I think that's a issue. I think a problem for me, I think, uh, okay, I, I don't know if you guys know, but I I have not been, I have not seated, I have not been on a bike in Singapore before. Like, um, I've been on a bike before, but that was probably in Indonesia. But in Singapore, I haven't been on. So, oops. <laughs> yeah. It's just, to me, feel quite kind of scary. I think. Like, you, you're kind of like out in the air. And then, it just felt like... I, I don't know, maybe for some people, it feels like it's uh, very um, carefree. Because you are... Uh, you don't have... Uh, you don't have a you you you, you, are, you are, everything's open right so it feels very carefree, but for me it's scary. <laughs> I don't know if I I would dare to to actually sit on one. For me that is like not because I don't have the opportunities because I'm scared. So <laughs> oh thank you, <laughs> thank you Nancy's. Yeah, I'm trying to get that right. Now I'm trying to do a bit of the, uh, the just to kind of make sure that this one looks right. So I will try our attempt to do this part, okay, which is the, I don't know what you call this, the ripples, okay. Mm. I, I don't think I, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Not very good, but I think it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> so I'm doing the ripples over here. I think there's a little bit of like eddy current, like a little bit here as well. So we just have to make sure that you have really light, like feathery strokes, okay, to get that kind of thing going on over here. She doesn't look too bad, like this part here. <laughs> And then after that, uh, just kind of draw the details here. Okay. And um, as for the rushing, you know, the um, tree. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I almost forgot that there's actually like a little tree. I think there's a little tree here. So I'm just going to draw that in. Okay. I'll wait for this to dry a bit before I put in the, the, the branches, okay? So, with this little bit here, I think I might just also... Yeah, draw this part that goes down, something like that. Okay? To show that there's a little bit of that current over there. And a little bit over here. And then, yeah, some trees, actually a little bit, some of the uh, trees are... Shrubs, little shrubs that's here. Okay. okay, a little bit that's here. Yeah, let's not forget those. And we have some that's here. So it's just gonna draw that. It's kind of fun to actually paint with uh, gouache, don't you think? I think it's pretty fun. <laughs> Getting the colors there really up. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, the RJS Pro loves cars. It's like his um, hobby, just like um, buying Lego. <laughs> I think it's a. I mean, at least I think I'm. I'm pretty lucky because my 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 um. I love art. I love to paint, and it's not very expensive. <laughs> cars are pretty expensive. So I, I'm lucky I'm happy or lucky that I don't have an expensive um hobby. Not that it's super cheap though, but yeah, still it's not expensive as, as expensive as, car, as cars. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm I'm just gonna do the you know the splashing part. Like so we have the um current just coming. Yeah, the I don't know how this is gonna happen, but yeah, I'm gonna try. Yes. Mm. Ok, 
Okay, I think I'm gonna kind of just make it a little bit less less strong. So it's gonna be like just pushing down. And this is where it just kind of splosh down. Something like that. So we have that splashing down and we have like quite a lot of stuff going on here, like just splashing out. Okay. And I'm gonna use whoa a thicker. So that's Whoa, that's too much. Can you see how much white I actually use? Very expensive. <laughs> can dry stick by your light control. That's good. <laughs> One could fall asleep and miss your stop. I've done that twice and it wasn't fun trying to get one, especially after the last bus. Oh no! <laughs> I, I, I've, but fortunately, I don't think I, I, I had like the unfortunate, fortunately, I don't think I missed, a, a missed my stop before, you know, so, and, and I missed the last bus. <laughs> I'm pretty lucky in that sense, I think. <laughs> yeah. Because somehow, you know, when I, I'm on a train, uh, on a bus, I, I somehow don't really sleep um i would actually be actually um, I'll, I'll actually be doing stuff like maybe editing videos i'll be listening to music so i kind of not like have a chance to sleep so how somehow i think my body uh, i tell myself not to fall asleep when i when i um like i because i think sometimes i think that when sitting in a transport like in a train public transport you kind of uh, it's a good time to just kind of catch up on stuff like readings and stuff like that. So I use that chance to kind of read up. Yeah, there. Yep. Yeah. Let me see if I can um, make this a little bit better by using other weird colors here and there. I'm pretty quite pleased with this this one. I think it looks okay. Oh, I forgot the bridge. <laughs> I haven't painted the bridge in yet. Nancy's, I have done exactly that. What? <laughs> Pass that and miss the stop by three stops. Yeah, oops. Yeah, but the good thing about trains, if you take the train, is that they, they kind of like bi direction. So you don't have to, they won't chase you. There's no need to chase you. Wait. Do they need to chase you out of the train? I don't think they would need to chase you out of the train um, because they would kind of stop and they would kind of continue uh, for the next step uh, without needing to kind of wake you up. But you kind of just waste time. I mean, I sometimes do miss stops, but then um, not because I'm sleeping. So sometimes it's because I, I kind of am too engrossed reading, you know, then I'll miss the stop and I'll kick myself for like missing the stops. Sometimes I miss bus stops. And sometimes missing bus stop is worse because you've got to kind of, um, you know, um, walk back. And sometimes the walk is not that short. It's quite a long walk. <laughs> and you really want to, yeah, kill yourself. That happened to me, like, recently. Yeah, so, yeah. Then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to draw some kind of reflection. There's some kind of reflection here, so I'm just going to draw a bit of that reflection. And I'm gonna kind of make this a bit darker as well, like this part here, okay? So this is like kind of the interior part, and then we just kind of need to make the color kind of merge out to here, okay? Yay! Oh, you were on the express bus, you were in another part of the town. I see, I see. Oh, that's the worst thing, you know, with, but, um, yeah, at least you could, I mean, um, yeah, get to, across to the other side, and, uh, maybe they would, uh, get to another bus, cross the road, I don't know how it works in the, in the States, but in Singapore, um, normally the, um, bus stops, like, to and fro, like, the round trip, they're yeah, just across the road, so if you kind of miss it, right, you, you, you could also kind of cross the road, to the other side to take that um, bus. I mean, not all of them are like that, but most of them are. So if you kind of missed it, you could cross the road and get to the other one. Yeah. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, let's paint. I think the final part is just painting the uh, the bridge. So, and um, yeah, that would be kind of the finishing, finishing touch to this painting. I think it's kind of fun uh, to, to paint with uh, gouache. I really quite enjoy painting with gouache. It's, do you guys think it's easier than watercolor? I mean, I think it is. What do you guys think? People who do gouache painting, do you think it's easier than watercolor? Yay! Oh, have I been? No, I'm not going to use uh, ink at all because this is, a, this is a gouache painting. So gouache and ink don't really go together. Um, because you know how opaque gouache is? It's going to cover up the ink. So I normally, for gouache painting, uh, it's just going to be like pure. It's just going to be one of those watercolor painting that you do. Like um, those, um, yeah, it's just going to be painting without the, the, the ink. Because, just because, you know, it, you, you can't really see anything. You can't see your ink at all. Yeah. I have not been to the Singapore Japanese Garden. I think we they recently um they are currently doing some changes right to they are renovating that area, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing it um transform, uh, into something more special. Uh, I've not been, <laughs> so I can't say it's not special. It's probably special, but I just don't know how how it actually feels to to be there. Um. Yeah, I may have gone like been there before, but I remember that was when I was pretty really really young when I was like a, when I was still like a baby. But my parents brought me there, but of course you know as a kid you know nuts, so I'm not sure if your kid will understand what actually happened today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nancy says oh bl bus driver flagged another bus that took her clothes you close to enough to where you stay, and then you call your friends. Oh, okay, that's really nice. Wow, I, I don't know. When when that happened, do you end up like many kilometers away from your home? It's kind of scary, right? If let's say you're living so far apart, like the country is like as, as, as big as the States, you know, like you, everything is just so far away. So I think this is, this is what I have. Um, I think it's, it's what I, I think it's fine. Like, I, I think I will stop here. Um, <laughs> It's a great Labor Day for everyone. Oh, let's see some. We have some messages on Discord. Oh, so many messages. Let's see. Let's see what we have there. Oh, yeah. So, blog user is showing us the panda. Oh, I see that. <laughs> is that mommy? <laughs> oh, daddy. Hmm, I wonder who that is. <laughs> so, there are two pandas in Singapore. We have uh, Kai. Hey, no, three pandas, Kai Kai, Jia Jia, and Le Le. So I'm not sure who this is. Is Kai Kai the daddy? I think Kai Kai is the daddy. Oh, so cute. Oh, everything is panda. Oh my god. But the panda looks a bit strange. That is a weird looking panda. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh, I'm glad you had a good time. Oh, this looks really nice. Oh, what happened to the... Um, what happened here? Uh, <laughs> the artist who did this, was it smudge? This is cute. Like, this is pretty nice. <laughs> I'm looking forward to M. You know, like, after L is M, right? M is macaroon, so we can do all sorts of different macaroons. Oh, and we have, yay, May Day, yes, everybody, happy May Day, it's gonna be one o'clock, so anyway, yeah, I'm done, and I think, uh, I did, I did kind of spend a little bit more care painting today, oops, sorry, so this was what I did, <laughs> the last time was this one, you know, I thought this one looks nicer, I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's really nice. I, I, I quite know. I mean, for me personally, I think I really like this part. Um, and I think these trees are really nice. So um, I'm not sure how this will actually look if you use like maybe um, watercolor. But probably you're gonna have a lot of like uh, have a hard time painting. 
<laughs> it's gonna be probably harder to to get the colors um, you kind of need to use a lot of masking fluid or you're gonna need to use uh, a lot of the gel pens to to get the, the to leave the white areas um, the highlighted areas uh, bright enough so yeah but thank you so much guys for watching me today paint a uh, Japanese garden um, and next week we will continue with our limited palette challenge and as I have um, kind of introduced our palette I'm just gonna kind of go through it again very very quickly <sighs> okay yeah, so next week we will continue with our limited palette challenge. We'll be using, I think we call this a spring palette, like mid spring, spring summer palette. Should we call this the SS palette? <laughs> spring summer palette. Uh, it's um, uh, the cobalt blue, light cobalt blue, which is PB28, quinacridone magenta. I think it's PR2 two something, 254. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is, but I, still, I know it's a PR or something. And then there's Green gold py129 okay so that would be our next palette challenge and it will be a, um, for dessert it will be alphabet l and uh, you can do lemon pie uh, lime pie uh, lemonade you know things like that all right so thank you so much and i really appreciate you guys for you know hanging out with me and uh yeah looking at um, and chatting with me while i paint uh, something uh, to kind of you know um, keep my hands keep my brain keep my eyes less rusty so yeah have you have i hope you guys have a great may day um a great and enjoy the hari raya holiday um the long weekend thank you so much drjs pro nancy's uh blog user it has been a while since i've seen uh blog user has visited or um, been in the chat so really happy to see him around and I thank uh, Blueberry Yogurt and um, Ash Boy, who, who ha always is in a very good weather uh, when 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 he watch um, the stream. So thank you so much. See you guys again next week. Bye bye. <laughs>